Today's lesson, we are going to talk about your vacation plans, okay? Where you want to go. Let's go and let's warm up, all right? Where do you want to go for your vacation, Bella? Uh, uh, I think I want to go to Hainan Island. To Hainan Island. What do you want to do there? Uh, I think I want to swim in the sea. You want to swim? I love swimming as well. <laughs> no. Wow. You know, I think I would love to go to, um, like, the, to a snowy area. Like, in your country, you guys have, you guys have the ice city, right? I forgot the name of the city. Do you, re do you know the name of a city in your country where there's lots of ice? I uh, yeah, I forgot the name, but it's a beautiful place, and I think I want to go snowboarding there. <laughs> okay. All right, Bella. What about um? What about right here? This picture. Check it out. What are they doing? They're climbing. They're climbing. Can you say climbing? Climbing. Yeah. Do you like rock climbing? No, I don't. <laughs> Why not? I think I feel scary about it. Yeah, and it's. I think it's really dangerous, right? Anyway, good job right there, Bella. Let's go, Bella. Let's okay. get started. Let's learn the vocabulary. Please read. Uh, Australia. Mm. Australia is... Oh, Australia is a big country, which... Uh, which occupies occupies a a, a whole continent. A whole con continent. Yeah, a whole continent. Occupies means cover. All right, like in this one, right? It's really big. Okay, next. Start off. Start off. Uh, Tom's uncle started off to Australia today. Okay. Now, when we say start off, what does it mean, dear? Start off means? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we say start off means to go, right? Started off to Australia, to travel, like that, to travel to Australia. Now, I want you to use a keyword or a phrase to make a sentence. Mm. Hmm. Uh, start off. Uh, mm. Uh, yeah, start off means to start traveling, to go. Uh, uh, I started off to school at morning. In the morning. All right. Very good. <laughs> That's good. Now, all right, dear, can you say I started off to school in the morning? I... I started out to school in the morning. Yeah, very good. Or this morning, right? Next, we have... Deserving. Mm. Uh, Tommy is deserving of a... Uh, trophy. Uh, trophy because of his uh, outstanding performance. performance in this com uh, compa competition. 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 All right, next. Envy. Envy. Lily envies her sister because her sister has a big lollipop. <laughs> okay, now when we say competition, it's like a game where there are many players, all right, to fight who can be the first one. Now, I want you to use a keyword and make a sentence, Bella. Mm. Uh, 
is envy. Envy, all right. Um, I'm envy about the students that only have a few homework. Okay, there you go. Say I envy the students who who have few homework. Few homework. I envy. That's really good, dear. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Bella. You're doing very well. And teacher will give you a delicious cupcake, Bella. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's learn and match. Read and draw the line. Number one, I was... I was too excited to fall asleep at night since the winter vacation is coming. Mm -hmm. Which picture does it um, does does that describe? I think the last picture. Last picture is correct, dear. Next, number two. Why don't you tell me more about your travel plans? Mm. So that would be. The first picture, that's right. Next, be sure. Be sure to take a lot of pictures. Share them with me. Share them with me when you come back. Okay, there you have it, Bella. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now let's go. Oh, do you have any questions, Bella? No, I don't. All right, let's keep going and let's talk this time. Look at Timmy and Sam, Bella. Please read the introduction. Sam? Sam and Timmy meet on the street. Let's see what will happen. I am going to be... I am going to be um, Sam right here. And then you will be Timmy. Let's go. Hey. Um, hey, Timmy. You look tired. Are you okay? I'm fine. I was too excited to fall asleep last night since the winter vacation is coming. Where would you like to go for your vacation? Any plans? Yes, I will go to Australia with my family. I can't wait to start off. <laughs> okay, let's exchange. This will be Bella and then this will be teacher. Uh, lucky you. Why do you tell me more about your plans? Sure. We'll first go to visit the Sydney Opera House. It's said you. It's said to be one of the most famous performing arts uh, centers. Centers. It's it's really, uh, it is really deserving of a visit. Mm, that's right. Okay, now Bella, look at this picture right here. What's this? This is the... Um, it's the Sydney Opera House. Very good. That's the Sydney Opera House. And a lot of people, you know, love to go there because that's where famous performing arts or famous artistic shows are being um you know um shown to the people right now bella let's um read right here by saying why don't you tell me more about your plans sam what's the answer here hmm. sam wants to know more about timmy's plan sam wants to know more is correct bella <laughs> Now, let's go and let's continue. This will be um, Bella and then this will be teacher. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I will also go to uh, Featherdale, Featherdale a Wildlife Zoo to see co koalas. Uh, koalas and kangaroos. After that, I will travel. Travel south to Mel, uh, Melbourne. Melbourne to see penguins. <laughs> wow, I envy you right now. Be sure to take lots of pictures. Share them with me when you come back. Sure thing. <laughs> Novella, what is Timmy's vacation plan? Um. To also go to the Featherdale Wildlife Zoo to see polls and kangaroos, and travel to south, travel south to um, 
Travel south to... To, to Melbourne to see the... To see the penguins. Exactly. So Timmy's travel plan is basically to go to Sydney Opera House, right? Next, he will go to um, the different places right here. So first is the Sydney Opera House. Next will be the Featherdale to see the koalas. And then after that, he will go to see the penguins to tra um, by traveling south. <laughs> no. How about you, Bella? If you had the chance to travel to Australia, what would you be doing there? Or where do you want to go? Um, I think I want to see the kangaroos. The kangaroos? Oh, what else? Um, and maybe something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, all right, there you have it. I think I would be interested to see the penguins and the koalas. I've never seen like a koala before and a penguin. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> all right, dear. Okay. All right, let's go and it's activity time. Let's play some games. Let's recall the words and phrases we learned. What's this? Uh, Australia. Australia. Can you spell Australia by writing it down? Thank you. Uh, so that's A. O. O. Australia. A. A. Aus. Yeah, A-U-S. Tralia. Tr-tr-tralia. Oh. Australia. A-U-S. A-U. A-U-S. T. T R Tralia. T R T R A L I L I A. Very good. Okay. Now next. How about this one? Um it is start off. Start off. Okay, next. Uh uh Envy. 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 Can you spell the word envy, dear? E uh, E M uh, V Y. That's right. Okay, next. Uh, it's deserving. Deserving. That's right. Let's see your answers. It's all correct. Now, I want you to describe the pictures that we have above using the words and phrases. Okay, so an example is given right here. Let's read the example. This is... This is a map of Australia. Right, okay, next. Uh, How about this one? He started off... Um, he started off to to somewhere to somewhere uh, maybe to Australia <laughs> maybe okay. next how about this one envy mm. uh, Lily envies her sister because um her sister have a big lollipop. Because her sister has a big lollipop. Okay, so we have to use has for her sister. Next, how about this one? Um, deserving. Mm, make a sentence using deserving. The boy is deserving um, of a trophy because of something. Because maybe he did something very well, right? We only give a trophy to somebody who did something so great. <laughs> great job, Bella. 
Bella, let's okay. let's use these words in answering the questions, okay? Why are you so tired today, Bella? Uh, mm. Yeah, so we will use two, two. I was... I want to... Uh... To, I was to to something to bl something. <laughs> so let me uh, give you an example. Maybe I could say I was too excited to fall asleep last night. That's why I am so tired today. I was too excited to fall asleep. Now, can you give me your own sentence now? I was. Um, I was to, I was to, I was too sad to fall asleep last night. You were too sad to fall asleep. Okay, very good. Now, how about number two? This pen doesn't work. This pen doesn't work. Uh, why don't you use something? Why don't you use... What is that something? Use what? Use another pen. Pen. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Why don't you use another pen? Next. Can you make a sentence using be sure to, Bella? Um... Uh, be sure to um um I must be sure to do all my homeworks. Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> You better. Now, you and I will be discussing something about vacation plans, all right? So, this will be me, and then this will be you. You can use the keywords that we learned today in answering. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. Where would you go? Where would you like to go for the winter vacation, Bella? Uh, I would like to go... Uh to Australia, and I can't wait to start off. Why don't you tell me more about your plans? Uh, uh, so first, mm -hmm. I will go to... Uh, first, I will go to the Sydney op Opera House, and then... Uh, to see the coal and kangaroos, and then travel to south uh, to see the penguins. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how about this one? How will you use deserving? Uh. <laughs> you can say, I, I think the Sydney, or you can say, I think the Sydney Opera House is deserving, deserving to be visited. Okay, again, I think, I think, I think the Sydney, Sydney Opera, Opera House, House is uh, I think the Sydney Opera House is deserving to be visited. To be visited. All right, there you go. Now, make sure... Make sh be sure to take lots of photos. Share them with us when you come back. Sure thing. <laughs> awesome job, Bella. You deserve a gift. Okay, you are deserving to receive a gift. Teacher will give you your french fries and hamburger. <laughs> All right. Now, Bella, do you have any questions? No, I don't. All right. Let's review the words that we learned today. Let's go. We have... Australia. Start off. Uh, deserving. And envy. And how about this one? Uh, 
Okay, let me write it down again. I think it's too small. This one. Com. Oh, hold on. Com. <laughs> Alright, this one there. Uh. Competitive. Oh, 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 teacher is wrong. Teacher is wrong. Competitive. Competitive. Okay. Say competitive. Competitive. Yeah, competitive right there. There you go. Now, dear Bella, let's... Um, oh, yeah, we also learned two and two. Why don't you be sure to... Let's make some more sentences using two and two. All right, so how about if I ask you, Bella, why are you not eating your french fries and your hamburger? Mm -hmm. Um, Why are you not eating your french fries and hamburger that I gave you? Uh, I was too... Uh, too... Full? I was too full. Too, um, too full too... To eat. Yeah. yeah. I am too full to eat more. You can say yeah, I'm too full to eat more. I'm too full to eat more. Yeah, Bella, why are you not? Why are you? Why are you not? <laughs> okay. Well, how about you? Ask me a question, and teacher will use two two. Go ahead. Mm. Say teacher. Um. What um teacher? Come on, ask teacher a question. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what can I ask about. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. Maybe next time we can have a practice or more practice. Alright, why don't you make a sentence, Bella? Why don't you? Oh, you know, I am so sleepy. Okay, what will you say? Why? Why don't you uh, go to bed? <laughs> it's too early to go to bed. All right, next. Now, I I will say something and you will answer. Be sure to, all right? Oh, Bella, I have an exam tomorrow. Uh, be sure to. Um, I have a test tomorrow. I have a test. Be sure to do it as good as you can. <laughs> well done, Bella. There you have it. You are awesome. In this lesson, we learned about vacation plans. And congratulations, Bella. You are amazing, okay? Keep on practicing every day. Keep on learning new words, all right? Okay. All right. So, what will you do after this class? To. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe relax, watch TV, play games like that. Uh, I uh, I think I can't play games or watch TV. Oh, that's too sad. I see. Well, what would you be doing? Maybe doing your homework. Uh, I think I didn't put the homework at home. <laughs> All right, well, whatever you would do, I hope that you would enjoy and have a beautiful day today, Bella. Thanks for coming to class. See you again next time. Goodbye, Bella. Goodbye. <laughs>